Hello and welcome to a new episode of Loxone Explained, the format for all technology enthusiasts, Loxone partners and everyone who wants to become one. The release of our free Loxone Config 13 comes with some groundbreaking and innovative features that make the world a little bit smarter again. I will present one of them to you today, the Multiplicator. In the areas of hotels, office complexes, multi-story residential buildings, ship cabins and so on, so projects in which the same configuration have to be scaled up and many mini servers are in use, it has not always been easy to transfer the same configuration. That is why we have developed a tool with a multiplicator that will make this much easier in the future. Configurations can now be easily transferred to other mini servers without losing flexibility. Of course, each mini server to which a comprehensive configuration is transferred can further process individually. In many hotels, for example, individual rooms will be each equipped with a mini server compact in the future. The multiplicator is perfect for the transferring the same configuration to all rooms. And now I show you exactly how this is implemented in Loxon Config. You can convert existing projects into a multiplicator project by clicking on the corresponding button. Caution! This step cannot be undone. Once the project has been converted, you will see all managed mini servers at the top of the periphery tree and can enter a username and a password here. With a click on Manage Mini Server, you can search for and add or delete further mini servers and update all of the mini servers of the multiplicator projects at the same time, creating backups, change the backup settings, and view various information about the mini servers. By clicking on Save to Mini Server, you can transfer your currently open projects to all added mini servers. You can also easily exclude sites and devices in your configuration for certain mini servers so that they are not transferred. This makes sense, for example, if you basically want to use the same project, but not all devices are available in some installations. We only save the project in one mini server and then connect to it. A new project opens that contains the configuration of the mini server. Now we can see immediately that the mini server is managed by a multiplicator project. If we now make changes to this project, this is immediately visually marked and we can also display the deviations from the multiplicator project in an overview and reset to the multiplicator standard. As you can see, in the future it will be very easy to transfer configurations across mini servers with a multiplicator. If you would like to see all the innovations and highlights of the new Loxon Config 13 with the associated app at a glance, I recommend our video on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel.